necromancer pig. That shit was dark. Going in there like that. Oh, brutal shit. Tell me. Kuno dies. You gonna pick one out of his brain like that too? Kuno's gonna go out in a hail of bullets. Gonna look like a fucking porcupine. Porta Rosa. A side alley of the Boogie Street Spearhead. A young man in his early 20s approaches patrol officer Emil Mullins and asks for a cigarette. As Officer Mullins reaches in his coat pocket for the pack of Astra he just purchased this morning. The man shoots him point blank in his chest. Breathless, the patrol officer collapses in the gutter. His right hand is grabbing the armor on his chest. The bullet didn't pierce it, but he can't breathe. On the pavement, the patter of the perpetrator's feet growing distant. Bleed, pig. Someone opens a window and says, but Emil cannot see who. His sight grows dim with pain. Yeah. Shitload pig, what's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno! This is where you quickly ask him questions. Real cop questions. Like a cop. Kuno doesn't give a shit about the armor. That fucking had one thing majorly wrong with him. He's a fucking mutant. Do you remember how he looked? Fucking growth hormone shit? He's a giant? The armor's too big for any man. Kuno doesn't give a shit about that freak armor. Kuno threw that shit away. Oh, come on. He's just pretending that he doesn't care because he's too small for the armor. Get the fuck out of here trying to fuck on me with that midget shit. Kuno's 12. He's huge. What are you? Fucking 80? When Kuno's 80, Kuno can fit four of you in Kuno. Fuck out of here. Trying to fuck on Kuno. Fuck out of here. Kuno tried to get the helmet on. It was too big. Kuno kicked that shit in the sea, rugby style. That shit means nothing to Kuno. Yeah, that shit means nothing to Kuno. Kuno doesn't give a shit about material shit. Kuno's a fucking monk. You wanna fuck on someone about that armor? Go fuck the mustached union fuck. The jolly troubadour shit at the gate. Yeah, cocking boot. You know that jolly union cow fucker? Came around talking about cows or some shit? Came around pretending like he cares about cows? Yes, you met him at the gates. The one with the boots and the jolly smile. Yeah, he's the one you want to talk to. He's fucking crazy about that armor shit. Coming here pretending like he likes cows. Trying to catch a peep at Kuno's armor. Curious, my liege. Why did Kuno feed you this information? Yeah, Kuno's doing charity today. Kuno day. Kuno feels sorry for you, loser pig. Kuno's doing pity now. Still, seems suspicious. He may have it in for that guy. Or you may be paranoid. That is also a possibility, sire. Kuno's fuck imp? Kuno uses the fuck imp for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno's not a snitch, that's all. Trying to make the Kuno sing into the popo phone. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno? Kuno wasn't even in Martinez? Kuno wasn't in Revachol? Kuno wasn't regional? The city's too large for him to have left. But he wasn't here either. So where was he? Told you, Pig Bacon. Kuno doesn't do regional. Kuno's been to places you wouldn't dream of. Fucking Mesk, or I don't know, some other place. Night City. Kuro was in fucking Night City. 
There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? You haven't been where Kuno's been? You haven't been in Kuno's head? You wanna know where Kuno was? You wanna know what Kuno's been fucking up to? I don't tell him that, Kuno! It's lame! It's not fucking lame. Kuno's building Kuno City. Night City. Rage City. The City of Rage. That's it. And it's not lame. Lame. That's the name of Kuno City, bitch. Get the fuck off Kuno's back. This shit ain't about that. What the hell is it about, then? A city of toys? No. With this kid, it's probably made of cigarette butts. Or maybe sand and melting snow. This is a minor discovery. Don't let this Night City business clog up your mind. Proceed with your investigation. If it's really important, it will come up later. Just a lone pig trying to sugar talk some kids. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno! Fuck are you talking about? What is this contusion shit? He says you're stupid, Kuno. They want to make you stupid again. Oh, did Kuno make your shit sniffing harder? Obstruction of shit sniffing? This is Kuno's kingdom. Kuno fucking rules here. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost, f Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno's Kuno, pig? It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using the third-person perspective as a shield. Kuno? Primal. Violent. Yeah, think about it. Think about that rabid Kuno shit. He seems glad someone understood what he was going for. But right as he's getting distracted, you hear a malevolent hiss from behind the fence. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Right! Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. Calm down. Anyone watching can see you're doing nothing. Just keep it professional. Fuck that! Confront him! Help! He's digging his dick out! Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! Pigs in there in Kuno! Somebody, please! Windows are being opened. On Rue Sansipa, people are turning their heads. An elderly woman puts down her grocery bags in front of the Fritz store and listens. Somewhere behind her, the gates of the industrial harbor are raised. On the catwalk, above the shipping containers, a broad-shouldered man jerks his head up. That Kuno? Cops getting killed out there. The tattooed mesk next to him smiles. That's Kuno, all right. Look at his shit-eating grin. He knows there's nothing you can do to him. He's bullying you, and you are helpless. Kill him. Kill him now. He won't see death coming. Nip it in the bud before it gets completely out of hand. Right on his cheek. Just a light tap to scare him a little. Don't kill him. Scare him? How did this happen? You can still get out of this. Appeal to his reason. Thump. The blow connects surprisingly well, leaving your knuckles tingling. 
Kuno feels it. This was no light tap. What? <sighs> Demon pig, that's not how this shit works. A little, but don't expect anything to change. Don't let him dominate you, Kuno. Fuck his fat ass. It's not Kuno, it's Kuno S. Fuck you, whispering about. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Fuck you, f whispering about. She puts extra stress onto that word, expecting it will make you uncomfortable. If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. But be careful. You can still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. Crazy? You don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. Stop talking to him! Kuno, I'm fucking warning you! You're gonna get us into shit! She understands what you're trying to do. Yo, see! Did Kuno not tell ya? Kuno told ya! Kuno talks to whoever he wants! Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to her, so she can't read his lips. Fuck. She can read lips. You should cup your mouth. Kuno means she killed someone. That's right. She's a killer. Like, actually a killer. His little green eyes are fixed on yours. He's meant everything he said before, but right now, he not only means it, he is sincere. Killing is serious shit. Kuno's always serious about the 488. 488? The criminal code doesn't go higher than 190. She's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. I knew you pigs were too naive for this shit. Good thing Kuno's got her under control. Kuno keeps her calm. There's something cold in the air, like water lapping against cold stones, or dripping in a hallway nearby. Three years ago, there were shoes in the corner. A cop would be too large for her to overpower, but a determined child of her size can still kill the vulnerable, the elderly, the homeless, or other, other children. The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There is something searching in her eyes. Fear. Fear of the truth. Kuno falls silent. He does not look at you when he replies. Kuno, there, that's it. That's what Kuno is starting to think, yeah? He usually looks you straight in the eye. A little something just crumbled there. Don't move your head. Just from the corner of your eye, look at her. Though her friend spoke too low for her to hear, Kuno S is not smiling anymore. Yeah. She would have liked to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. Look, Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. He speaks the truth, my liege. Yeah, she's psycho. None of that kiddie psycho. Cap and shit. She does the real deal. Yeah. Snuff radio shit. Believe me, pig, you don't want to know. And he doesn't even want to think about it. 
This isn't just another boast. Fuck knows. She says it's the song of her people or some shit. Crazy people. The fucking Nakis. I don't know. It's Suruese. The Suru are an indigenous ethnic minority in the social democratic powerhouse Vasa on the tundra and tiger covered Isola of Katla. Far, far away from here. As far as possible, really. Suru East? Like that man from Shelmdol shit? She could be. She could be that Shelmdol shit. Revelshon does have a small Sururese community. Or she climbed into a yakberry crate and was shipped over accidentally. Fuck no, she's not me sister. She's just a stray who got in. Like a mad dog or some shit. Yeah, she was just there. What was that, Kuno? She was in the hallway, dripping wet, by the fucking shoe rack, in the dark. Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she pissed on the floor too. She was there for three days, in the corner, every time Kuno went out. You know this. The body goes into a kind of revulsion shock. Murder hangover. That's what it could have been. Kill the kid, yes. Makes them look for a quiet, dark place and just hibernate there. Usually goes on for a few days, up to a week. Must have been her first one. You only get it on the first one. I don't know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home. She's sleeping under the desk, under a pile of clothes, like a dog. Someone left the door open. It was him. By accident or... On purpose. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there. Or thinks it's fucking Kuno. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno. Kuno S. Two of a kind. Cause she fucking looks like Kuno. No one knows her name. Kuno told you this shit was psycho killer. How's Kuno dealing? Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C doesn't either. Kuno's got this shit under control. <laughs> no, it's not okay. C is Kuno's go-to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with C. You fuck with Kuno. You threaten her. You threaten to take her away. This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. I am going to kill you. I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later, and fuck you up. Do you understand? He may not be able to do it, but he will try. Right now, he believes he will. All right. Now we can do business. He's breathing heavily. That took something out of him. Yeah? What do you want? Kuno can hook you up with... Oh, don't hook him up with shit, Kuno! See? Relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno? You get all kinds of shit. Kuno's gonna get you hooked on illegal narcotics if you run a little errand for the Kuno. Get you hooked, pig. Get his hook in you. Then Kuno gonna get you hooking for more. Cash in big style, pig cooker. And shit, he can even fuck back in Kuno's kingdom. That fucking pile of eternite. It's a secret door, okay? Just pull it off and you can fuck into Kuno's shack. He means the shack to the right of the greenhouse, with snow melting on the roof. Kuno gets it from his dad. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. That's where Kuno gets his lightning on. Problem is, Kuno and his dad had a little falling out. Now junkies clawing at Kuno's door. Streets going mad. Kuno's gotta throw his dirty popo man at it. Dirty popo man is you. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. 
Kuno's dad does steroids and speed. If you can take him, you can have half of the speed. Kuno's dad is a fucking monster. He's the most violent man in Revishol. He doesn't give a shit about a single thing. He drinks too. Looks like we're looking at a close quarters fight in some rundown drug den. Bongs falling. Hookers screaming. You should use the environment against him. You can't afford to take a hit from this guy. I mean, anabolic steroids. And speed. You're best off dodging blows, wearing him out until he has a heart attack. You know how you'd be best off here? With a gun. I'd be the star of the show if you only had a working gun. Don't expect to talk this one down. There are some situations your mouth can't get you out of. You won't sweet talk your way around this man. Good thing this psycho drug boss is strictly optional. Like half? A baggy, but like in this vial? That's half a gram, sir. Yeah, half a G. Want it or not? Fuck you talking about half a G? This shit is giant grade A shit. So clean you can barely see it. You can barely see it because there's barely any. Okay. Kuno's listening. All right, pig. You can plug him, but you can't stop him. It'll only buy you time. Just get in the apartment building. Kuno knows you already fucked your way in. Kuno knows everything. Go to room 12, first floor, and kick down the door. Police violence style. Kuno style. And then it's action time. You're locked in the room with violent fuckheads. That's it. Next time Kuno sees you, you better have his shit. Kuno doesn't fucking care. A shabby door hangs oddly on its hinges, secured to the doorframe with a safety chain. An unpaid energy bill is attached, threatening to cut off the electricity. It's addressed to Mr. Uno Dodoita. Your heartbeat quickens, palms go sweaty. The siren of amphetamine is singing you her song. The shabby door hangs oddly on its hinges. Snip. The cutter goes through them like dead leaves. The links fall to the ground on the other side of the door. Don't let the quiet fool you. The beast is in there somewhere, ready to rip you to shreds with a broken bottle. You can just go in now. open on the table, covering a stack of utility bills. Right next to it, in plain sight, sits a small bottle of amphetamine, conveniently equipped with a straw. You pocket the bottle as if it were the most natural thing in the world. Don't wait. Celebrate. 
Blast that shit right here. Take inventory of it once this boring table shit is done. Blast it before you face the beast, De Ruita. You're going to need the encouragement. A bundle of clothes heaped on the bed. A stained parka, some towels and a duvet, some socks even. In the dark, it looks like a nest. Something underneath there is breathing. It doesn't give a shit that you're a cop. Stop your hand now, or you're gonna die. It's not too late. No one's going to blame you for backing out. You don't have to do this. Just get out. Your hand touches a greasy duvet, covered in cigarette burns and ketchup stains. You hear a growl. There is something alive underneath it. It's deep, in suffering somehow. You see a 60-year-old, fat, red-headed man passed out from large amounts of alcohol and God knows what else. The smell of shit rises from his mouth. You don't have to take him down. He's already down. A lump of flesh is sticking out from under the blanket. It seems to be twitching from time to time like the paw of an animal who's having a bad dream. And look, the other foot is camouflaged by a striped sock bearing the name Max Tor on the sole. Three toes are poking out of a hole. Max Tor is a gas company. He's wearing free socks from a gas company. They probably came with the bills. A groan rises from the man's throat, dry like a death rattle. He's trying to say something in his sleep. The bear is trying to wake up. The man groans once again, but his tongue keeps failing him. It's impossible to make out the syllables. A hand emerges from the blankets, trying to gesticulate something. And then it dawns upon you, clear and surreal. Pig, he says, He's trying to call you a pig. Are you going to let a semi-conscious degenerate disrespect you? His hand falls back on the bed, limp and defeated. A loud snore escapes his mouth. He's asleep again. The light from the window is weak, but it seems like he is. His wild, unwashed mane bears a familiar ginger tone. Even the hair on his chest is coppery. Don't forget his face, the bloated and reddened cheeks, the bulbous nose. This would be Kuno after 30 years of alcohol and substance abuse. There's still plenty to be scared of here, just not what you thought. No response. A pair of half-open bug eyes is staring back at you from the dark empty and frozen. It's clear that the person behind them is not awake. Nocturnal Lagophalmus, the likelihood of falling asleep with partially open eyelids, rises after stimulant use and heavy drinking. His half-open eyes give him the look of a dead man, but he is in there and not enjoying himself. Fuck Somewhere just out of earshot, a glass bottle explodes. A man's voice shouts, you fucking kids. And then the screech of sneakers pounding the pavement. A girl's voice yelling, got him. And a painfully shrill laugh piercing the air. The pile of blankets grunts. It's hard to say if there's anything left you could do. A coronary artery bypass graft? Take out his liver and replace it with a new one? Somehow undo 20 years of neurological damage from stimulants? A change in the socio-economic circumstances wouldn't hurt. Silence. Only heat emanates from the sleeping body. He wouldn't be too thrilled to learn you stole his stash. It was the last thing keeping him functional.
Oh, does Kuno care? All right, so you got Kuno's kilo. Here is how we do it. First, you give Kuno Kuno's kilo, then Kuno gives you half back. That's how we split it. It's the best way, street way. Where down the street is? You send your little friend in dressed as a hooker, distracted him. That's some sick shit. Tell your little slanty-eyed friend, respect from the Kuno. Kuno wants to hear all about it, but first we split the kilo, then we shoot the shit. Wow, that's heavy. There you go, more than half in there. Kuno's fucking honorable like that. Now tell me, how the fuck are you still alive, pig? The fuck do you know about Kuno's life? Kuno's got plans. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we got plans. Six meters underground, below piping from before the war, the collapsed remains of the Martinez storm drain system. There are two stolen flashlights with piles of batteries next to them, beside two bedrolls, in the dark and opening into the lower tunnels. Yeah, so fucking what? Fuck are you talking to Kuno about that kiddie shit? He's trying to fuck you again. Fuck out of here. Kuno knows it's fucking lame. That's why Kuno changed it. Kuno can change his name into anything. Gonna change my name into f Don't change your name into that, Kuno. Yeah, you do some sambo shit, sneak in. Was the Beano Cloud hooker thing real? What? His posture changes. The swaying rooster motion stops for a second. Then he gets it going again, reorienting himself. Fuck right. Kuno's dad was sleeping like a bum. Kuno told you. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about anything. Fucking breaking and entering shit. That's nothing to Kuno's dad. You got lucky, pig. Kuno knew this. Kuno's fucking violent fiend dad's been drinking hard lately. Kuno knew you have a way in. Narrow window. Kuno window. Kuno window? Kuno's not fucking trying to be tough. This shit is real. Kuno's fucking violent dad's gonna be a vegetable. Kuno knows that shit. Stroke shit, stomach fucked up, and Kuno's gonna go out like that too. Gonna be just like Kuno's violent dad. Speed shit, crime shit, fucking on the bed. Go out West Revishal style. Stop saying all this sad shit, Kuno. There's a touch of grief in there. Fuck are you talking, sad? <laughs> Kuno's got hard shit. Dead shit, nothing shit. Get your fucking nun ass out of here before Kuno fucks it dead. You think cause you brought Kuno one gram of speed, your friends now? Turn into... Kuno ain't turning into shit. Kuno is... Kuno is that shit. If he doesn't stop soon, he's going to collapse from exhaustion. He's red all over. Kuno! He did not win. There is a crack in there now, and it's spreading across the face of his certainty. Fuck right there where? Fucking three years or some shit? You can guess. Yeah, that's right. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about that electricity and light shit. Just wants to pound on people and drink. That's right, it's a shithole. Kuno's gonna move underground, La Roim shit, ancient shit. Kuno's gonna live in a fucking catacomb. Yeah, in a tomb, Kuno. Yeah, pig, this shit is done. Now get the fuck out of Kuno's face. Kuno needs to drop the bomb. Kuno doesn't fucking care. <laughs> 